Hello guys, today I'm going to show you a small trick that you can apply to all of your blog posts. And it's a trick to, that will allow you to get the um, jump links in Google. So you have the search results and then you get the small links that you can click on. And the reason that you want to do this is because I see that when I apply this trick on my blogs, uh, on my blog posts, they actually, they, they get a little bit of boost in the Google search engine. And also I get more screen real estate. So there's a bigger chance that people are actually click on, on my search results. And let me actually show you right away what it is that I am talking about. So last year I made a blog post about how to create a wakelet collection and it's ranking here in number, well, it's the second organic search results, but we have all, of course, all of these videos here and the wakelet is ranking number one. So I'm ranking, down here, number two in the organic after this video carousel. And what you can see here is that I have these blue links here. So if I click on this link here, dude, Google is taking me directly into this part of the blog post at business NAP in the bottom of the article. So if I click back again, I can see that I have one more link here, assist indexing by sharing. And if I click on that link, I'm taking to the uh, second part of the blog post that Google thinks is actually relevant to the search term, assist indexing by sharing in Twitter and Reddit and so on. So if we take a look at this search result here, you can see that I have, of course, the link up here, then I have the title and I have the meta description. And then I have the stars here that comes from the aggregate rating schema that I added to the blog post. And then I have the jump links here. So if I scroll down, just you know, inspect the other uh, search results, I'm actually the only one for this search term that has these jump links. And I don't see other search results has that. I'm the only one that has these. And you can see that I, I made the blog post here. Then I made a variant of it and published to LinkedIn. So it's here. And we have uh, Ken Peluso. Uh, he also made a blog post about this. And then I have the Medium article that I created also. And then I have my YouTube video that's ranking down here. So if you take a look and compare the screen real estate that I have from this blog post. So you can see that my screen real estate, it's, it's almost the double of this. And because I have these the combination of the stars, the aggregate, aggregate rating, and then I have these links and you know all of this, uh, you know, the uh, the um, search result combined, all of all of the the features combined, it just makes my results that much more trustworthy. So people are more likely, more, it's, you're you're more prone to click on a, on a search results that look like this because it's basic psychology. You see these stars, and you see these links, and something you know just it's a psychology. You know, it's it's kind of like it's more trusted in the eyes of Google if Google actually deciding to show these jump links. And if I click in on this uh, blog post here, I have a plugin up here that's called SEO Pro Extension, and this is a free plugin. So you can see the schema that I have. Uh, I have the web page schema and I, let's see here. Yeah, so this is a web page schema that I have, and uh, this has been created by uh, Schema Writer. And then I have the product schema down here, aggregate rating. An aggregate rating is, um, of course, it's a schema type product. It's a, it's a schema type that's meant for products. So it's not meant for blog posts. Although there is something to be said that uh, if, I, if I'm talking about a product in my blog post, that is, if I'm selling a product, you know, I'm making a blog post that I'm talking about a product that I'm actually selling. So there is something to be said that you can actually apply product schema and aggregate rating schema for this blog post. Also, if you actually, if you have actual ratings and reviews, I don't. So this can, of course, be considered spam. So it's not something that I'm saying. I'm not saying that you should follow in my footsteps with regards to the product schema because I'm just trying things out, right? I'm just testing things. So I'm testing, you know, I added this aggregate rating. Does it show up? In my case, it did. And I also did the other thing that I'm going to talk about, uh, that I'm talking about now, and uh, that is I added the uh, table of contents. 
So the reason that I get this, these jump links is because of this plugin that's actually creating these links here. So you can see here that this rectangular box here is a box filled with links. And all of these links are auto created by a, a plugin in WordPress called Loggy or WP, something like that. I'm going to log into my WordPress website uh, in a couple of minutes so I can actually show you how to do that. The thing is with this, uh, with this plugin is that it creates these shortcuts. So for example, uh, this point here at business NAP in the bottom of the article, if I click here, and then I then then it jumps down. So <clears throat> it's it actually there's a link in an internal link in the blog post using this uh, table of contents that actually jumps down to this point number five at business NAP, and Google picks up on that. And if it's relevant, and uh, it, apparently it, it was relevant in the eyes of Google, if it is relevant, Google will actually decide to actually show this in the SERPs. And it, it both shows it in the desktop that I'm, I'm showing you now in the desktop, and it also shows it in the uh, mobile phone. Let me actually show you, uh, I don't know if you can actually see here. So it's actually better in the mobile phone because, uh, let me just see here. You can see here, I actually get more jump links in the mobile phone. So I think in the mobile phone, I actually get four to five jump links that are actually shown. And in the desktop right now, I'm, I'm, I'm getting two jump links. So the thing is that uh, this table of contents, I'm using the plugin called Loggy WP, and not all table of content plugins are generating code, apparently because I tested this, that actually seem to result in the jump links being shown in Google. And uh, let me just uh, jump back to Google. Actually, I don't know if Ken Peluso, he's using a table of content plugins. It could be actually interesting to see. Uh, so what's interesting with the, the, the blog post that Ken, yeah, he actually also uses this table of contents. So what's interesting with this is that he used apparently another plugin because that's not resulting in the um, in the uh, blue jump links below the uh, the search result. So um, let me show you what I did. So let me just move myself over here. So I'm now logged into my WordPress website and I click down to plugins, and the plugin that I actually use is called. Let's see, Loggy WP table of contents. And we click on settings here. So there's a number of settings that you can apply. And there's a setting called auto insert. But I do not want my all of my posts and all of my pages to have automatically a table of content. I want it for some blog posts, but not for all blog posts. So I don't have this to auto. But uh, you can decide. Uh, to, 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 you can decide the uh, minimal count of headings and the depth that you want to go to. So if I go to depth six, I have H1, H2, H3, all the way down to H6. But if you only want H1 and H2, you just click two here. And it's very, very easy to actually insert this. You just insert it with a short code. And let me just show you here, edits and edit with Elementor. Um, and let me just click here, Oops. text. So I am uh, using Elementor to edit my blog posts and I'm just inserting this short code that looks like this. WP colon loggy at WP, do 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 table of contents. And then it works. It just creates the jump links for me automatically. Uh, so let me just uh, exit that again. And I want to show you something because <clears throat> even though that I use this plugin on all of my blog posts, it's not for all of them that I, that's actually showing the jump links. Because uh, let's see the Twitter moments alternative. Let's just see if it shows it here. Yeah, it, sh it shows it here. So Wakelet Collections is, in, is an alternative it's not as good as Twitter Moments, but it's an alternative to Twitter Moments. And I wrote a blog post about it, and it's showing the jump links down here. But uh, if, for example, this guy here, what is Cloud Stacking SEO? 
Let's see. So some other guys are ranking number one now. And I'm ranking number two. And I have them here. So that was a bad example. That was not what I wanted to show you. Uh, how to use Twitter most local SEO. Yeah. Okay. So if you have a featured snippet, then you're not going to be sh then you're not going to show these jump links, because the way that Google determines to show the featured snippets it varies all the time. But for this particular blog post, they um, they determined that uh, they wanted to show some of the step by step instructions that I. Uh, included in the blog post on how to use Twitter most for local SEO. Of course, this is not relevant anymore because we cannot uh, create, generate Twitter moments anymore. So um, it's in the past now, but it's still in interesting to see that if you get the feature snippets, Google is not showing the uh, jump links. So you can't get everything. Uh, let's see here. I need to, I need to actually create more blog posts because it's, it's a little bit. So, Let's see how to insert schema. I think I did not insert the, I didn't insert the plugin in this blog post, how to insert schema in WordPress pages. So I don't have the jump links inside of the blog post and then actually show you what happens then. So obviously I'm not ranking number one for this term because it's quite competitive. So I'll have, you'll have to bear with me. I'll scroll down until I find myself. Uh, here I am. So this is what it looks like. So in this blog post, I did not insert the product schema. I did not insert the blog post, uh, sorry, the plugin to add the jump links, uh, the table of contents plugin. And that resulted in the search result that looks like this. So it's now it's just like a normal search result. It's boring. It's bland. You know, there's no features on this. Uh, on this, uh, and you can see here WordPress.org, they have these stars already much more interesting. And in, they have it how to add schema markup to WordPress. Let's just see here. Uh, actually, they have this table of contents. I don't know what plugin they, that is, but they also have the table of contents. So they have one, they have some kind of plugin to also auto generate these internal jump links. So they also uh, they also have that, and uh, so yeah, I think that's just an interesting uh, feature for you guys that you can uh, something that you can add to your blog post to get these jump links. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, and if you want more videos, I encourage you to jump into Facebook and go to uh, local SEO tips and strategies. Facebook group that I administrate, and we're talking about local SEO tips, schema, link building, all sorts of stuff, geo schema, all sorts of SEO related um, points. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.